Jeff Sessions about closing the criminal case against Arpaio months ago. Trump was reportedly told it would be inappropriate to do so and decided to let the trial take its course. Arpaio, meanwhile, thanked President Trump in a tweet and called his conviction, quote, a political witch hunt by holdovers in the Obama Justice Department. He also directed supporters to a website accepting donations to help him pay his legal fees. Nick Confessori, uh, the, the list of horrors that this it's guy just, where implemented do you begin? Uh, is, is, is staggering. Um, you, you actually had a, I had read a report from a reporter that one of the things that surprised him the most was when he was out there how much the Arizona law enforcement uh, community hates Arpaio because he gives them all a bad name because he has been a complete thug. Uh, and has, has, has punished people, basically amounting, doing some things amounting to torture. That's right. And, and, and look, the, uh, just a quick fact check, the investigation began under the Bush Justice Department, I believe, um, uh, so it wasn't an Obama witch hunt. The list of things that he's done include uh, allowing a backlog of dozens of child abuse to go dark because the people were the people of immigrants and the kids were the kids of immigrants. The, uh, um, you know, I think what's interesting here is, you know, he's tweeting uh, Sheriff Clark in Milwaukee, right? Sheriff Clark's, uh, you know, former job or his job is being right. sued <clears throat> for allowing an inmate to die of thirst, of dehydration in custody. So these two sheriffs are sheriffs who are not very good at their jobs in some ways, and he seems to love them. The Phoenix New Times, uh, They've covered Joe Arpaio for 20 years. They had a, a chronology, a list of outrageous incidents involving Sheriff Arpaio's tenure. Uh, half of the things on the list are absolutely shocking. Yeah. Shocking. I mean, he's running a concentration <clears throat> camp. That's yeah. basically what he was doing. And, and Donald Trump uh, mistakes this for, for being tough on law and order. Yeah. Again, even even the law enforcement officers in Arizona have shunned this guy. The Bush administration started the investigation. This is obvious to Republicans and Democrats alike that this guy is a complete thug. So he doesn't he do respect this? the rule of law. And Donald Trump, you know, why did he do this? Who knows? I, maybe it's throwing more red meat out there, but it's it's not even it's not something that even Republicans support. This is did he have the authority to do this? Yes, he had the authority to do this. But if articles of impeachment years down the road are ever brought up against this man, these are the sort of things that are going to be attached in abuse of power. As Jeff Flake said, he didn't let a judicial process play itself out. He cut it short. Well, this is also a green light to the other Joe Arpaios out there. Sure. And he is not the only one. But if you're the president and your policy is to get tougher, as he puts it, on immigration, this tells other sheriffs, other law enforcement people, people at ICE, it's okay to right. blur the line. It's okay to go over the line in the service of my goal as president, and that is not the law. Well, what did he say uh, in his speech to law enforcement on Long Island a couple of weeks ago? Go rough them up. Yeah. Go rough them up, which, of course, horrifies law enforcement because things like this and Donald Trump telling uh, people, to, you know, saying it's a joke, but it's not a joke, rough them up, um, that just makes their job more difficult. And when they get sued, it's just, it, 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 it puts them in a more, law enforcement officers, in a more tenuous position, makes their job more difficult. And I've got to say, Mika, bottom lining this, the worst damage that's been done, though, has been done to Donald Trump uh, in the eyes of the judiciary. They once again see that this man uh, acts like an autocrat. He has no respect for judges. Certainly he's shown he has no respect for federal judges. The damage to the Republican Party, in my opinion, also the damage to the country as this goes on. What more does he need to do? I don't get it. Coming up, when 